The revolution began with a question so simple that most people never thought to ask it. Why does an apple fall to the ground? And why does the moon not? For millennia, the two phenomena seemed unrelated. The earth was seen as the realm of change and imperfection, where objects dropped, decayed, and dissolved. The heavens, by contrast, were imagined as perfect and eternal, their motions ordained by divine harmony. Aristotle's philosophy had dominated for nearly two thousand years. Heavy bodies naturally sought the earth, while celestial objects followed separate, immutable rules. Isaac Newton refused to accept this division. In the mid-seventeenth century, he proposed something audacious, that the fall of an apple and the orbit of the moon are governed by the very same law. Gravity, he suggested, is not confined to earth, but extends infinitely outward reaching across the void to bind the moon, the planets, and even the stars. It was a breathtaking idea, for it erased the old wall separating the heavens and the earth. For the first time, the cosmos could be described in one voice, with one language of mathematics applied everywhere. The story goes that Newton was inspired while watching an apple drop in his mother's garden. Whether the story is literal or not does not matter. What matters is the leap of imagination it symbolises. To see, in the most ordinary event, a falling apple, the key to the heavens was an act of genius. Newton unified the terrestrial and the celestial into a single vision, and that act of unification marks the true birth of astrophysics. But Newton's insight was not just a philosophical claim, it was rigorous, testable and predictive. He provided a law the law of universal gravitation, that stated every body attracts every other body with a force proportional to their masses and inversely proportional to the square of their distance. This deceptively simple formula could explain both why a stone falls and why the moon does not. It could account for the orbits calculated by Kepler, the tides observed by sailors, and the path of comets traced by astronomers. Suddenly the universe became a single system, coherent, and comprehensible. The boldness of Newton's unification cannot be overstated. In one stroke he transformed our view of the cosmos from a fractured world into a seamless whole. He showed that the same invisible hand directing an apple to the ground also keeps the moon aloft in the night sky. This was not only a scientific triumph but also a philosophical revolution. It told humanity that the universe was not a patchwork of separate realms but a single ordered reality. From the orchard to the stars, everything was connected by the quiet, persistent pull of gravity.